Tutorial 3, Part 2, Line Defects. Edge dislocation is defined as an insertion of a plane or a half plane of atoms into a regular lattice structure. You can see for the feature here. The original crystal structure doesn't contain the green atoms. And it shouldn't contain the green atoms in terms of a perfect crystal arrangement. But often it is the case there is an addition of these green atoms, which we call it the, the plane of the atoms. The dislocation line is defined as the edge of the extra half plane of the edge dislocations. This we call it edge dislocations, those green atoms. And the T shape, which marks the dislocation line, it is quite straightforward and quite intuitive. And you can basically understand how can we draw the symbols. How can we identify those addition of these extra atoms in a crystal? We can use progress vector and which represent the magnitude and the direction of the lattice distortion caused by these dislocations. One example, draw the burger sweaters for the following edge dislocations. First thing is we need to identify where is the extra thing. And here is the label. Here is the symbol. And the red atom we have marked, I have a job mark, marked for you. And then we choose our atom. Draw the broad circuit as move for x atoms. x is an integer. Turn 90 degrees and then move for x s atoms and turn 90 degrees and repeat the process for two times. The direction should be clockwise, and the such circuit should surround the dislocation line well away from dislocation position. And the burger sweater B, which is here, the red arrow, will be from the end point to the start point of the burger circuit. The burger circuit is the steps we draw from step 3. which we call it burger circuit and which is the black arrow. In this case, we choose five atoms and it is first moved five atoms to here and then five atoms to here and then five atoms to here and then five atoms to here. And the burger sweater is basically these red uh, wetters. School dislocation. School dislocations is different from edge dislocations, which is a shifting of our upper portion relative to the lower portion, in usually one atomic distance by shearing stress. And you can observe it here in this picture. Normally, this should this region should add the diff, this should add the same plane at the same plane with this region. And however, there is a formation of the uh, edge, not a uh, screw dislocation in this piece of materials. I also draw a burger sweater on screw dislocations. Draw the burger sweaters and determine it is the left or right hand screw. Draw the burger circuit first with a similar slab mentioned for mentioned for edge dislocations. Notice that this time it is again coarse. And for start point to end point. The burger sweater must be at this this plane. Remember that. Again it is but this time it is from start point to end point end point. It has a different orientation with the edge dislocations. Using the right hand rule, 
clockwise will represent a downward direction, which is mentioned by Wilhelm Rule. And that means the school itself, it is a right hand school. If it is in opposite direction, definitely it is a left hand school. In real case, school and edge dislocations are often both species. And pure school or edge dislocations are rare. 